to it. I was off today, still getting to it. Stack of stars. Welcome back to the Natty Daddy Experience. Ooh, ooh. A student is shown receiving her diploma and shaking a line of administrators' hands before she reaches the superintendent, which happens to be a black man by the name of Rainey Briggs. The student father, Matthew Eddy, rushes on stage and pushes the superintendent away. Y'all check this video out. Where's Brendan? Now this situation is super embarrassing. Off camera, you can hear Briggs telling the man to get away from him and then Eddie replying, I don't want her touching him. Now the superintendent, Rainey Briggs, has pressed charges against Eddie and is seeking a restraining order. In the restraining order, Briggs wrote that Eddie stated that he was not going to touch his effing daughter, which in the video, the video almost looked like this is a staged skit. Do you know how embarrassing that was for the student to see her dad rush to a black man because he didn't want uh, his daughter to shake his hand? It's crazy, man. If blacks and whites were still segregated, this wouldn't even be an issue. And I hate to say it, but maybe it should go back to that. If black people are such a problem and you don't want to be around black people, then if we ever get segregated again, don't try to come and mess with the black people, okay? Once black people start taking back their community and patrolling their own community and building businesses inside of their community, the white people don't come and try to blow it up like you did Tulsa. And I know it's not all white people that are racist like this. Uh, I've met some really cool white people, but we all know if it came down to a race war, you gotta stick with your people, man. You didn't want this black superintendent touching your daughter's hand, but she about to go to college and get touched by a big black dude that's probably on the football team. He gonna have a heart attack if she get pregnant by a black guy. I'm telling you now. Y'all get in the comments and drop y'all two cents and let me know what y'all think about this racist situation, man. Peace.